Take up your cross, the Savior said, If you would my disciple be, Deny yourself, the world forsake, And humbly follow after me. The First Station Jesus is condemned to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because Because by your your holy holy cross cross, you have have redeemed redeemed the world. Jesus stands in the most human of places. He has already experienced profound solidarity with so many on this earth. By being beaten and tortured, now he is wrongfully condemned to punishment by death. His commitment to entering our lives completely begins its final steps. He has said yes to God and placed his life in God's hands. As I view the scene, I become moved by both outrage and gratitude. I look at Jesus, his face, the crown of thorns, the blood, His clothes stuck to the wounds on his back. Pilate washes his hands of the whole affair. Jesus' hands are tied behind his back. This This is for me, that that I might be free, that that I might have eternal eternal life. The second station. Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because Because by your your holy holy cross, cross, you you have have redeemed redeemed the world. Jesus is made to carry the cross on which he will die. It represents the weight of all of our crosses, what he must have felt as he took it upon his shoulders. With each step, he enters more deeply into our human experience. He walks in the path of human misery and suffering and experiences its crushing weight. I contemplate the wood of that cross. I imagine how heavy it is. I reflect upon all it means that Jesus is carrying it. I look into his eyes. It's all there. This This is for me. So I place myself with him in this journey, in its anguish, in his freedom and surrender, in the love that must fill his heart. Moved by the power of his love, I am drawn to him. The third station. Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because Because by your your holy cross, cross, you have have redeemed redeemed the the world. The weight is unbearable. Jesus falls under it. How could he enter our lives completely without surrendering to the crushing weight of the life of so many on this earth? He lays on the ground and knows the experience of weakness beneath unfair burdens. He feels the powerlessness of wondering if he will ever be able to continue. He is pulled up and made to continue. I stare at the weakness in his eyes. I can look at his whole body and see the exhaustion. As I behold him there on the ground, being roughly pulled up, I know forever how profoundly he understands my fatigue and my defeats. This This is is for me. me. In grief and and gratitude, I I see see him him fall and get get up up again. again. I am hopeful that that I too can can be strong strong through grace. Take up your cross, let not its weight Fill frightened spirit with alarm. His strength shall bear your spirit up and 
and brace your heart and nerve your arm. The fourth station. Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. The world. Jesus' path takes him to a powerful source of his strength to continue. All his life, his mother had taught him the meaning of the words, Behold, the handmaid of the Lord. Now they look into each other's eyes. How pierced through her heart must be. How pained he must be to see her tears. Now her grace-filled smile blesses his mission and stirs his heart to its depth. Love and trust in God bind them together. As I watch them in this place along the way, I contemplate the mystery of love's power to give strength. She knows the sorrow in every mother's heart who has lost a child to tragedy or violence. This, this is, is for me, me such incredible freedom, freedom to love and fully trust in God's plan. The fifth station. Jesus is helped to carry his cross by Simon of Cyrene. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy, holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Jesus even experiences our struggle to receive help. He is made to experience the poverty of not being able to carry his burden alone. He enters into the experience of all who must depend upon others to survive. He is deprived of the satisfaction of carrying this burden on his own. I look into his face and contemplate his struggle, his weariness and fragility, I see how he looks at Simon with utmost humility and gratitude. This, this is for me, to, to see he understands that he needs help. I know he sees my inability to carry my burdens alone. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Jesus' journey is at times brutal. He has entered into the terrible experiences of rejection and injustice. He has been whipped and beaten. His face shows the signs of his solidarity with all who have ever suffered injustice and vile, abusive treatment. He encounters a compassionate, loving disciple who wipes the vulgar spit and mocking blood from his face. On her veil, she discovers the image of his face, his gift to her, and for us to contemplate forever. What does the face of Jesus hold for me? What do I see as I look deeply into his face? Can I try to conquer the agony and pain? Can I embrace him with his face so covered with his passion? This, this is, is for me. me. In, In wonder and awe, I behold his face, face now wiped clean. I ponder what it means that I have been made in his image. The seventh station. Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Even with help, Jesus stumbles and falls to the ground. In deep exhaustion, he stares at the earth beneath him. Remember, you are dust, and to dust you shall return. He has seen death before. Now he can feel the profound weakness of disability and disease and aging itself. There on his knees, under the weight of the cross. I contemplate Jesus brought very low 
As I behold him there on the ground with all the agony taking its toll on him, I let my heart go out to him. This, this is, is for, for me. me. I, I store, store up this image in my heart, heart knowing, knowing that, that I will never feel alone in my, my suffering, suffering or in, or in any diminishment. diminishment. Take up your cross, nor heed the shame. Nor let your foolish pride rebel For you the Savior bore the cross To save your soul from death and hell The Eighth Station Jesus meets the women of Jerusalem we adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy, holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. The women of Jerusalem and their children come out to comfort and thank him. They had seen his compassion and welcomed his words of healing and freedom. He had broken all kinds of social and religious conventions to connect with them. Now they are here to support him. He feels their grief. He suffers, knowing he can't remain to help them more in this life. He knows the mystery of facing the separation of death. I look at their faces so full of love and gratitude, loss and fear. I contemplate what words might have passed between them. I remember all his tender, compassionate, merciful love for me. I placed myself with these women and children and let his mercy stir up a deep gratitude. This grace is for me. The Ninth Station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. This last fall is devastating. Jesus can barely proceed to the end. Summoning all this remaining strength, supported by his inner trust in God, Jesus collapses under the weight of the cross. His executioners look at him as a broken man, pathetic, yet paying a price he deserves. They help him up so he can make it up the hill of crucifixion. I pause to contemplate him there on the ground, the brokenness that makes me whole, the surrender that gives me life. I, I pause to experience and, and receive how, how completely, completely he loves me. He, he is indeed completely, completely poured out for me. me. The Tenth Station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your, your holy, holy cross, cross you, have you have redeemed, redeemed the, world. the world. Part of the indignity is to be crucified naked. Jesus is completely stripped of any pride. The wounds on his back are torn open again. He experiences the ultimate vulnerability of the defenseless. No shield or security protects him. As they stare at him, his eyes turn to heaven. I pause to watch the stricken. I contemplate all that is taken from him and how he faces his death. I reflect upon how much of himself he has revealed to me holding nothing back. As, As I, look I look at him in, in his humility, I know, I know that this is for me. The Eleventh Station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by, by your holy cross, cross you, you have redeemed, redeemed the world. world. Huge nails are hammered through his hands and feet to fix him on the cross. He is bleeding much more seriously now. As the cross is lifted up, the weight of his life 
hangs on those nails. Every time he struggles to pull himself up to breathe, his ability to cling to life slips away. I make myself watch the nails being driven through his flesh, and I watch his face. I contemplate the completeness of his entry into our lives. Can there be any pain or agony he would not understand? This, this is for me, me. nailed to, to a cross to forever proclaim liberty to captives. What sorrow and gratitude fill my heart. Take up your cross, then in Christ's strength, and every danger calmly brave, t'will guide you to a heavenly home and lead to victory or the grave. The Twelfth Station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Between two criminals, a mocking title above his head, with only Mary and John and Mary Magdalene to support him, Jesus surrenders his last breath. Into your hands I commend my spirit. I stand there at the foot of the cross, side by side with all of humanity, and behold our salvation. I carefully watch and listen to all that is said, and then I experience the one who gives life, pass from life to death, or me. I console Mary and John and Mary, and let them console me. This, this is, is the, the moment, moment I, I search, search for, for the, the deepest feelings within me. My soul longs to comprehend this, this act of love. The Thirteenth Station. Jesus is taken down from the cross and given to his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because, because by your holy cross, cross you, you have, have redeemed, redeemed the world. The world. What tender morning! Jesus' lifeless body lies in his mother's arms. He has truly died, a profound sacrifice, complete. I behold this scene at the foot of the cross. I contemplate touching his broken body. I remember all his hands have touched, all who have been blessed by his warm embrace. I pause to let it soak in. He knows the mystery of death. He has fallen into God's hands. This, this is for me, that I might love as I have been loved, that I might respond to the many needs of the world that I see around me and live my life for the sake of others. I pour out my heart to the God of all mercies. The fourteenth station. Jesus is placed in the tomb. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They take the body of Jesus to its resting place. The huge stone over the tomb is the final sign of the permanence of death. In this final act of surrender, who would have imagined this tomb would soon be empty or that Jesus would show himself alive to his disciples or that they would recognize him in the breaking of bread? Oh, that our hearts might burn within us as we realize how he had to suffer and die so as to enter into his glory for us. I pause to contemplate this act of closure in this life. In solidarity with all humanity, his body is taken to its grave. I stand for a moment outside this tomb. This final journey of his life has shown me the meaning of his gift of himself to me. 
This tomb represents every tomb I stand before with fear and defeat, struggling to believe it could ever be empty. In the fullness of faith in the risen one, I express my gratitude for this way of the cross. I ask Jesus, whose hands, feet, and side still bear the signs of this journey, to grant me the graces I need to take up my cross, to be a servant of his own mission. Take up your cross and follow Christ, nor think till death to lay it down. For only those who bear the cross may hope to wear the glorious cross.